Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for July 1st through July 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. We are almost out of eclipse season, so we'll have a third and final eclipse on uh, next Sunday, July 5th. So hang in there. Things have been incredibly intense. Um, be patient and understanding with others right now because I, I just feel like we're all a little bit on edge and being squeezed from the inside out. So um, also for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients all over the globe at this point. Um, this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below has all the information on the website about the distance energy healing and therapy. Uh, you can read the testimonials, definitely uh, read about my story and getting here and the benefits of the energy therapy for you. Uh, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you. It's a really good time to be having any sort of energy work done because it's really going to just help cleanse and clear and, and help you to let go of things and move forward with all the cosmic support we have right now of kind of letting go of the old and stepping into a whole new chapter, part of our life, um, era, whatever you want to call it. So again, all the information is below. Um, I'm also offering a limited, very limited number of personal readings. So the link is below for that as well. So I think that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for July 1st through July 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled. So let's just get into it for you. Okay, wow, Gemini. Starting out, King of Swords up first, which is you. So I feel there's a message here for you about being in your power, really being clear on what you want, speaking your truth, um, you're just feeling good. King of Swords is a card really to me of like clarity. So you may have been getting or have gotten very clear on what you want, uh, what this eclipse season has meant for you, what you're letting go of, things like that. But this is interesting because the next two cards, I've got two of swords with a king of cups. So there is a decision here that I feel like you want to make, but it's just not quite time to make it yet. The two of swords really asks um, that you be aware that there are details that you aren't, that you don't know yet. So you don't have all the information necessary to really make a decision yet. So I feel like the Two of Swords is saying maybe hold off a little bit. You could be making a decision about a partner or a person that you've been dating or getting to know. Um, it could be a water sign here with the King of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But there's something here that that you don't know. I just feel there's missing information for you, okay? I'm feeling that strongly. I think you're clear in what it is that you want, but what's unclear is something about this person. So you're clear within you, but there's something on the outside of you that has not come through yet. I do feel it has to do with this King of Cups. Okay, let me see what else I've got for you here. It also could be saying, you know, the two of swords that you're trying to make a decision with logic and what you really need to do is tune more into the heart. To two of swords is often kind of blocked from the heart energy. Yes, okay, so next up I've got Three of Wands, which really is a card of action and keeping your options open. So this could be why it's a little too soon for you to make a decision yet, because there's going to be more opportunity for you. So if it's in regards to love and you're, you know, wanting to choose a partner or you're ready to choose a partner or something like that, I feel the universe is saying, like, 
wait a second, like there might be a different partner for you or there might be another opportunity for you. So um, keep things open for a little bit because I do feel, look at this, we've got Ace of Swords and Queen of Swords. So there is going to be the clarity come through that you need as well as the communication and the, the Ace of Swords is going to bring that along with a fresh start. It could be a second chance with someone as well with this Queen of Swords energy um, that, that does speak of second chances. So you've got King of Swords and Queen of Swords out here. That is a power couple. So that could be why you're being asked to hold off here on making a decision because this may not be the right person for you. So I think these messages could be for those of you who are not in a fully committed relationship that you're still getting to know one person or two people or you're just there's more options here available to you. But this Ace of Swords is in the center of your reading, Gemini. So there is definitely going to be a fresh start, um, a new beginning with somebody. There's also going to be a lot of communication because I have four sword cards out here, which is really about communication. Um, okay, let me see what else I've got here. Okay, so there could be communication around maybe a past issue, either with this person or with someone else, but you haven't fully resolved that within yourself yet, uh, which you may be feeling like that's a little bit of the, the fear of commitment. It's like fear of getting hurt. There's some past issues here with the Three of Swords that needs to be dealt with. That could be the information that you're not aware of with the Two of Swords. So you could be wanting to make a decision here to end it with this person, um, but it's really not the person, right? It's more about something within you that is a block here with, with the hurt or with something from the past. But the last card out here is the Queen of Wands. So there is a lot of characters out here. We've got two kings and two queens. So there could be multiple people involved here, and that's what you're trying to get clear on is the direction that you want to go in. Um, but I don't feel you're going to be able to move in that direction yet until this is dealt with. I've also got two threes out here. So yeah, there is definitely multiple people here. Whether that's known or unknown, I'm not sure of, but I just feel there is not full commitment yet. That could be why there's a second chance with someone who you've dealt with before. And I feel a message of the Queen of Wands here is maybe you don't need to try so hard to figure it out. It's a little bit more about surrendering and trusting and really allowing yourself to see what it is that you're being shown. Because with five retrogrades and, you know, in the middle of eclipse season, we are being shown all sorts of truth. Truth about ourselves, truth about others, truth about situations. And it's really allowing yourself to see those so you can make changes and make decisions as needed. That's where the power is within uh, the retrogrades and the eclipses. So, it, and it's dealing with some of this stuff. I feel this Three of Swords is is old. It's not has it doesn't have to do with who is out here. I feel this is older energy that's being triggered that needs to be healed. Okay, but yeah, there's just there's a lot of people out here, Gemini. So I feel communication may be needed to make sure everybody is on the same page and is clear of what is going on. That that could kind of be you know, what this is indicating. There needs to be action taken about so many options. Um, but I do feel that you're going to be getting clear on that because like I said, the Ace of Swords really is going to bring you clarity. Queen of Swords is going to bring a second chance if needed. You know, if a decision was made too soon about one of these people. Okay. And 
because I have the page of cups with this three of swords, they came out together. I feel because of the past pain and the fear, that's why there's this um, fear of commitment or to keep things more casual or more lighthearted. That's what the block is. And I, I kind of feel, Gemini, you're being called to clean that up so you can make a commitment, so you can have a power couple um, relationship and situation. So use these energies right now to really clear out some of that. Anything from the past that you're still holding on to. I don't feel that I need to clarify. Let me see if there's any last message for you. Abundance. Okay, so I feel this is asking you to get clear on what it is that brings you everything that you need and want in life, right? The happiness, the health, the freedom, the love, um, etc. What is it that makes you feel abundant? Because sometimes less is more. Less people, less things can actually give us the feeling of abundance, of that freedom, of having everything that you need and more. So it's getting clear on that. And it could also, you know, because eclipses be helping to remove things from your life that are taking away from your abundance and that feeling. Okay, let me give you one last message, spirit animal message here. Okay, your spirit animal message is dragonfly. Magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Beautiful. So yeah, you're, you're shifting out of, uh, you know, a way of being or a pattern that you've been in, Gemini. And I think you're ready to clear that up, heal, and choose something that is really more in alignment with you, that's more in alignment with the heart and not just with the mind. So I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is within me. I am brilliant. I am blessed. Brilliant and blessed, that is a part of the abundance here. So that's a really beautiful message for you. It's kind of tying it all together. So I hope that resonates with you. Um, if not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world. Uh, this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials, and you will see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me so you can take advantage of that I, I really hope that is helpful for you in some way um, I'm also offering a very limited few uh, number of personal tarot readings so the link is below for that if it says sold sold out you'll just have to ch uh, keep checking back as I, I make those available okay so I think that's it Gemini I'm wishing you a wonderful start to July and I will see you guys back here for the second half of the month readings take care